Maker, Rail Sound, Odyssey, and Program Run Switch there. And then all you do is you just slide it back on like that when you're done. Here's the underside of the locomotive. As you can hey. see, we have two pickup rollers there, a nice speaker there. We don't have any um, LCS track sensor yet because this wasn't made during that time period. And we have two other uh, pickup rollers here. Now, one thing I want to point out, I just realized I said that this was the, dig the, the ground lights. The ground light is actually right here. If you can see that, I will zoom in on that. You can see the ground lights right there. This is actually the bell. And actually, if you look inside there, it is hollow, so it's, um, it's a nice effect. But, um, but yeah, I just wanted to get that cleared up. Here is one of the sides of the gondola. And on this side, we have a bunch of details in there. It looks really nice. We also have a nice ladder there, a nice truck. And we also have some more details around there. Here again on the side of the uh, on the side of the hopper car, you can see we have nice details, you know, paint details, logos all the way. Um, one of the cool things about this, and I, I don't know if people like this or not, it's sort of shiny, like it just came out of the paint shop. And I mean, some people might like that, some people might not. I find it cool that Lionel did that because. So on some of their diesel engines these days, they don't add the extra gloss to it. So it looks really nice and it stands out from everything else. And of course down here we have the same sort of truck. We also have some legible writing here as you can see. And on the top, we have all, we have these walkways here going on either side. And in the middle here, we have all these um, panels or loading things that will open. I haven't opened I haven't opened these things in a while, so and there you go. Now they're all open. And now they're all closed. Here's a look at the underside of the car. Not too much. It is a um, cylinder hopper, by the way, so you can sort of see it curves there in the yeah, middle. Please. Um, we just have the panels that they don't open up like the panels on the top, but they do um, But they do look pretty cool Okay, here we are at the tank car again Just love that love that paint scheme that we have going on and on the tank car here <laughs> In the front here we have we actually do have a, a wait Yeah, we do have a little chain going from down there to the wheel. Hold on, let me get my pointer. Yeah, we do have a little chain going from that wheel there to the bottom. I think that's really cool that Lionel decided to actually put the chain there. You can actually see it better now. Um, I mean, even though it doesn't do anything, it still gives the effect as if it would actually work as brakes. We have some nice um, details down here. Don't know what you would do with all this, but um, but anyway. Moving down, you can see the um, Norfolk Southern Heritage logo there. And of course, we have the car number over there. And then moving down, we have a bunch of legible stuff down here. You might not be able to read that on video, but it is possible to see it. And on the back here, we don't have a um, we don't have um, any wheels or anything. But we do have a little sign there. Now, there's nothing on there right now. I might add something flammable on there later. But and anyway, on the top here, it's nicely detailed. We have a little thing sticking out there. Don't know what that's called. And we have the hatch here. This one doesn't open, I think. I mean, I haven't gotten it to open yet, and I don't want to break anything. But um, if, if yours opens and mine doesn't, let me know. All right, now we're up to the final thing in the set. This is the caboose. Now, this is also lighted, and it's smoking as well. Uh, I don't know how well it smokes, because this is made back in 2009, 2011, keep in mind. And um, and uh, the lighting also flickers, because it's not LED lighting. But still, those are just minor setbacks from all this car has to offer. So as you can see down here already, really nice underside detailing. Lionel did a great job on that. Again, great scheme here, logos and what not. We have some legible stuff up here. 
on this side. We have nice steps, a coupler, and nice, um, again, another a nice chain and a, a ladder here. And another cool thing about this, let me get my handy dandy screwdriver, is that this door actually opens. I don't know if you can tell that on the video. I think you can, but it will open if you push on it. So that's really cool that Lionel went out of the way and did that as well. It opens on the other side too. Moving on down the car. Very nice. And as you can see, another opening door there. On this side, we do have some more chain detailing and whatnot. So that side's a little bit more detailed. And on the top here, you can see the smoke stack. You just pour smoke fluid directly down the stack to load it. We have some nice crew figures in there. Now, you can't really see much inside because it's not lighted yet, but there is really cool detailing in there. There's a stove and some more people. So I'll show you that when it's lighted. And uh, there's not much going on here in the top besides the walkway going all the way across, but it's pretty cool. Here is the underside of the caboose, and as you can see, it is very nicely detailed. Here are a couple of the of the things you just saw. You have some nice uh, separately applied details here. This is not cast in. And you also have the smoke on-off and the lights on-off switch. All right, let's go ahead and start it up. I will be using the extended startup sequence, pressing and holding this button. Conrail 1209, do you read me? Conrail 1209 here, I read you. Start her up and stand by. Roger, out. I love the fact that they did the crew talk specific, um, road number specific crew talk on this locomotive it just makes it all that much better here's the horn which sounds awesome in my opinion Just sounds great. Here is the bell. And here's some more crew talk. And here are the levels of RPM. All right, let's go ahead and roll it out. Conrail 1209 here, get my clear. Over. Conrail 1209, you may depart. Over. <laughs> 